Greetings all. Hey everyone, Freezer here. And it's Andrew Mage, nom nom nom. And uh, look at the amazing thing that I did. Uh, look at the amazing thing that I did. Okay, after I load. Loading, amazing thing. Look! <laughs> the menus, they're readable now. <laughs> oh, glory's day. So here we are. Yeah. In the magic puppet room. Actually, no, we're in our house. Um, Anyway, we are ready to get ready to go to the forest, but before There's the magic we have to go back and go to the magic puppet room. Right. Because we have got to name our puppets. Sorry, we did a recording and it was hilariously bad. Um the graphic errors up the wazoo. However, it will make for great blooper reel material later, so yeah, magical puppets evolve here. So yeah, we are going to rename them, and after much deliberation, we have decided that we are going to be naming our puppets Tom and, and Crow. Crow. After the characters from uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, thank you to Mad Ritter for the suggestion. You have won many things, but above all... You, you have, have run, won props. Yeah, you and our hearts. You can use props at the prop store to buy more props and become a prop comic. And you are naming the person <laughs> Tom. Again. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is Crow. The crow. Also known as Sheep Face! Yeah. Sheep with a long, sticky tongue. Crow. Does he have crow's feet? I don't know. Tom and Crow. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Anyway, well, before we can go to the forest, we now have to go buy some equipment for our puppets. Because puppets, they don't like to go attacking things without things to help them. Most of the puppets' um, equipment are all accessories, but they, yeah. can, they they all are vast assortment of things from yeah. glass masks to... Oh! I'm talking to somebody. Is that a guy or a girl? I can't tell. I have no idea. But... Luke, it's you! Take me with you <laughs> on your the next... tree! The tree is talking to us! <laughs> the tree has a very pretty face. We're gonna go to the general store. Guess what the maybe, maybe it's like in Pocahontas, <laughs> where the tree has a face. Grandmother will... Here's a shopkeeper who looks a lot like Alice. Alice in Wonderland, and she's talking Hi, I'm a bimbo! I'm looking over here! <laughs> yeah, let's sell some of these wooden swords, because we don't need any of these. There are no items. Bye! Accessories. Unfortunately, a lot of these are kind of expensive. So we're going to be buying t-shirts. Yeah, we are going to be buying t-shirts. Two t-shirts. For our little dudes. And, and remember, we have to equip them here, because yeah. this game is like, no, you only equip on very specific streams. And then, swing! <laughs> it's a great sound, though. Listen to that sound, if you can. Shing! <laughs> that, that's the sound of a sword being drawn for wearing a t-shirt. Can't move inside. Right, gotta rem remember that. And also, gotta not hit the button accidentally. Ugh. Gross kingdom. <laughs> Let's get out of here quickly. And look, there's no more seizure vision, too. It's like... <laughs> Glenn. Ender. Name. <laughs> I thought it was Gross Kingdom, so we should be gross. <laughs> yeah, he's currently making... Where did I just go? I went back to the store. Oh, comedy of errors. It's better than a comedy of your mom. <laughs> we were already sinking to your mom jokes. This is magnificent. So yeah, check out our cool little world map. World of Gross Kingdom. We have the Arkatol Ocean, the Kia Ocean, and the Kurorine Ocean. Here's Goondocks. We could go back if we wanted, but um, uh, there's a thing there, but we'll see later. Goondocks does have one good thing in it, though, which is it has a shop which has some different, th different things in it from the Gross Shop. Gross Shop. Into the forest all on my own! Alina, this always happens when I leave things to you. Womp womp womp. I'm a whiny bitch. So yeah, welcome to the Lost Forest, the first real dungeon. This is our sort of... This is our dungeon menu. You've mm -hmm. got a lot of things on it. We've got the status screen so we can look at all our pretty faces. Yep. Um, Let's check out Tom. Look at his big giant HP. Yeah, and check out the magic list. There is a ton of magic available in this game. But since Tom is a level 1 puppet, he sadly can only use Moose Fire. Which has the same effect of Hammer, but we still haven't seen Hammer, so... Yeah. Gotta love it. Al, um, you've 
beating the game. Do you how when did did you ever see Hammer? Yeah. Did it ever descri- did it describe it as same effect as Moose Fire? <laughs> Luckily, it did not. It's it's basically a basic fire spell. Uh, this we can see gems. There are a lot of different kinds of gems. They come in five, six different colors. Learn to count, and within each one, there are four different varieties: holy, beast, wisdom, power. Sadly, no courage gems, or else we'd have the Triforce plus two. And um, uh, yeah, they're gems. They're geminal. It's pretty. Um, I posted an. Um, for those of you watching this from TV Tropes, I posted a nice little description of all the different gem types. And what their sort of flavors are, but um, uh, we'll for the rest of you just getting here from YouTube, we'll we'll give you a trail of breadcrumbs or something. Yeah, we'll find a way to get to you there since it's difficult to link. Um, yeah, items we can see our items, which are cool. Yeah, item lists. Uh, we've got our equipments and stuff. Uh, save we can save, so I'm going to do that now. We'll see you after a jump cut. Okay, we're back, everyone. <laughs> Now, here is end. We can go near the end, or we can go outside. It's kind of nice. You can leave the dungeon at any time between levels, but you can go back right to where you left. So let's go to the entrance. Or actually any other floor as well. You can yeah. start at any floor that you want to. You can play floors over and over again if you so chose, and in some cases you might want to do that. The Lost Forest. Oh my gosh, they're so not glitchy. <laughs> yeah, when we show you the, um, uh, the blooper reel. A magical puppet master. Well, let's see what power you've got. Dun dun dun. I guess he's talking to himself there. I guess. I have no idea. He's a crazy, crazy kid. Yeah. So let's move. Um. So the first turns tend to be just moving around the field, just yeah. getting within range. So Luke's gonna go here. <laughs> he can do not really anything. And then we'll move the moose cue so it's closer to something, so yeah. it can like shoot fire or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's pretty much going to be too far away from anything here to do anything. We Let's send out um, Crow over this other direction. But first, let me show you our enemies in this level. We have... Fu Happy Bunny! <laughs> oh, Fuwawa. Hey, Fuwawa. Also known as Fly Musku. It's yeah. Musku with wings. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. It's pretty much your standard low-level monster, plainish stats. It has a good hit rate and avoidance, though. And it has so, a huge move radius. So yeah. it moves five squares, and it flies those, so it can fly over other uh, units. Yeah. Not much magic, though. We have these little guys, who are Pikuchi! Also known as Wormbutt. Yeah, they're... They I'm have... gonna give all the monsters nickname. Yeah, worm butts are very weak <laughs> to magical attacks. They have very little magical defense. But they have a decent hit rate, though, and decent physical defense. And there's more moose cues, but you know what those are like. Um, and that was really send Crow out to do something. Crow actually has a big move range. He can move 5 too. And because he's, he's also... a flyer. Yeah. There's three kinds of movers. There's walkers, flyers, and teleporters. And I'm still not within range. You're not. You're not within so range. So I can't use his boring attack. Boring! He's gonna bore you to death. Also, by the way, uh, that species, whichever, what, what is the name of Crow's species? Um, Crow is a powan. So that species' name is uh, Sheep Face. <laughs> okay, you've got Sheep Face, but we seem to be keeping Mooskew as Mooskew. Yeah, but it's just because I like that name. Mooskew. Um, and then we got Fly Bunny and and it was Happy Bunny. It's Happy ago. Bunny, but it's, it's gonna cast its hammer spell on us. Ouch! Well, damage. Yeah. So um, yeah. Anyway, so the music is gonna attack you and try to like kill you really, really. Man, everyone's picking on you today. You're gonna need to kill a bunch of these dudes really, yeah, really rapidly. Yeah, they tend to pick on the human as opposed to the monsters. It's actually kind of nice because if you have a low level monster you want to raise up. You can take it to a high level area and have it sort of beat on the high level dudes for a lot of experience points. Are we gonna attack Fly Bunny or uh, or the, the enemy Moose? Let's go? see. Um, we're gonna attack Fly Bunny because Fly Bunny's a slightly lower level. Fly oh. Bunny gets stabbed in the face. Yeah. Zeppelin's moved over this way. He's gonna stay there because he's in a good position to attack. All right. We're gonna actually. You know what? You know you can stay there because you can use your Moose Fire. Burn forever. Moose fire. Do, 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 do. Oh god, oh, also, I'm singing like 20-year-old commercial jingles. What is wrong with me? Okay, so also the 
pink gems are not really pink as much as they are purple. Does anyone remember, does anyone besides me remember the game Crossfire? I remember thinking it looked really cool, but... I have no idea what you're talking about. It was like there were metal balls let's, and you... Let's show, uh, let's show one of, uh... Let's show the physical attack of this guy. Okay. There's two, basically two types of monster physical attackers. Short rangers, which attack in this cross formation, and long rangers, which they can't attack up close, but they can attack sort of far away. They're basically your archer characters. Yeah. But there are no monsters with this type of... There's no monsters with the spear attack formation. It's kind of weird. At least none that I've seen. But I've seen a large number of the monsters in this game. Ow. Look at the way his fur sticks out pretty funny. These wormy guys. Worm butts. Yeah. Worm butts are coming to get you. They are. I think it might be good to heal if they keep attacking you, though. Yeah. If one of your puppets runs out of HP in battle, they turn back into their doll form on the battlefield. The One of the benefits of that, though, is that you can start a new doll... A, a new, new puppet. A new puppet's... Um, so all the puppets evolve in a um, in a tree formation. So they start at one place, and then you get to branch off. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it, it all depends on what they start with. Is how they branch off. So yeah. if you don't like the, the the way your puppet is looking, mm -hmm. or the kinds of stuff it knows, you can change its. Um, yeah, there's a better way to do that, though. Trust me, it comes later, but it's there. And they keep all their they keep their levels in their name. They just lose all their spells and stuff. However, at this point in Which time, you get from a, using jewels on them. Yeah, at this point in time, though, level one puppets cannot learn spells. Sad but true. We're gonna use ham or boar on you. Everything's fire basically at this stage. Although and it, those things are super weak to magic. It totally killed worm, but yes, it did. You're in a fine place. You're on my knee. Sorry. Uh, so I guess you're in need of ah! <laughs> He just tickled me, I hope you know. That is so totally against LP protocol. No tickling your commentary partners. Yeah, well, no making bad puns about needs. Bad puns are a let's play staple. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone has got to be the punching master. Luke is looking kind of bad, so I'm probably going to heal him next. <laughs> Yeah, because you're getting sort of... I'm getting a little bit towards dead. Although there's no sad, like, you're gonna die soon animation, which is sad for their poor little sprites. At least there's no, like, warning, your health is low, B. <laughs> or... <laughs> I mean, everyone bags on the Zelda warning beep, but for my money, the Metroid warning beep is way worse. What does that du sound like? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to hear me make a funny noise, yes, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yay! Oh, yay! Rice balls make everything better. That they do. So I would move away for the time being. Yeah. Retreat! And then move the musku to just burninate some of them. Yeah. Tom! You need to save us, Tom. Tom. Some call me... Tom. Okay, this one was... Well, see how big the, the... How much health does the worm butt have? Um, don't worry. He'll... Uh, Crow will be able to take care of worm butt. Well, the thing is, let's kill, let's kill the flying bunny thing, too. Well, worm butts, like, one spell will take them down. Yeah, but the flying bunny thing has, like, 7 HP right now. This is true. 32 experience points. Show them what the... Have you we seen what the attack of, of the sheep face looks like? Okay, let's do sheep face's attack. It's a big tongue. Here, let me swing the camera around so you get a good view of it. Zoom! Delicioso! Lick. 40 experience. Um, he can stay where he is, because I'm not too worried about worm butt attacking him. Although worm butts are also kind of slimy, like the way they go all sploosh when something hits them. And of course, they're going to try to like cut your face some more. And of course. Face cutting, it's a pretty much a tradition. Oh no, he's going for the treasure? I guess he's not. He's just running away. Okay, let's Remembering about this game that um this game is is enemies can steal treasure and it's just gone forever. Yeah, kinda sucks. Anyway, get worm butt, please. That should kill him. Yes, exactly so. He had 30 HP. Yay! 16 experience. 
can... Okay, let's see. Let's see how much you are... Oh, you are not my Moose Cube. Yeah, he is le he's level 3, but mine has way more HP. I guess since I made mine, mine are just way better. Yeah, they just are magically awesome all the time. It's really weird, like, the way monsters work in this game. Probably not worth thinking about. Yay! We I like... I like how our treasure chests are laid out. We got a little level up. Anyway. White that beast jewel. Yeah, so now we're gonna start to get jewels. Green beast jewel. Let's see. Green, green power, power jewel. jewel. Not the green. Pink, Pink power, power jewel. jewel. Pink, Pink beast jewel. jewel. Lots of beast jewels. Yeah, and a t shirt. Look and how happy they are! Look how happy my sheep guy is. It's so adorable. <laughs> Stage clear, bonus experience, one, two, three. Her, her, her. Bonus Micah. Two, five, one. Money. Okay, so that that's was cool. Yeah, that's the first area, and so we're gonna leave you here, but join us back shortly for the next area of the forest. This has been Let's Play Eternal Eyes. With Freezer and Endermage. So, buh, 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 bye, kids! <laughs>